if you're looking for an even deeper dive into tonight's Thursday night football game, check out our new NFL live show, Action Island, airing every Thursday at 5.30 Eastern on the Action app, the Action YouTube page, and at Action Network HQ on Twitter, and presented by our friends at FanDuel. But let's get started on today's show, where we cover another Lotus Slate uh, of games, starting with a really good Thursday night game, uh, and that's between the Chiefs and the Chargers. So we got the Chargers up to four and a half point underdogs at FanDuel. Uh, the total is 54 and a half. Uh, four and a half seems like it's kind of getting out of hand. What do you think? Um, I just want to say okay, it's kind of like my monologue for week two. A lot of it, the NFL week to week market overreactions. Um, and we're not going to have a lot. We're, you won't have a ton of stats here, right? We won't have a ton of, okay, this team has been running this or this team ranks this because there's only one data point. So a lot of it's still priors and you got to decide which teams to adjust, which not. But if you're new to the show, you know, after weeks three and four and you have a month of data or so, we'll start to get into all that, uh, some of the analytics when we build our plays. But just high level, week two dogs that didn't cover game one by seven or more, 53, 35, and one. That's 60% against the spread over the past 20 years. Applies to the Jets, Cardinals, Cowboys. Teams off a blowout win of at least three touchdowns. Chiefs, Bills, since 20, 2010, 27%. Under, underdogs just overall in week two, 53% past 20 years. Dogs who lost in week one, that are teams that lost week one, they're now dogs, 55%. Double digit loss in week one, 61% as a dog in week two. Week two dogs that didn't cover in week one. It just didn't cover, not about winning. 56, 32, and two, six, just under 64% since 2005. And week two dogs of six or less in week two off a straight up loss, 64, 32, and three, just under 67%. Applies to Panthers, Jags, Jets, and Cardinals. Speak to some of the overreaction. It's a week to week market in the NFL. I didn't see as many drastic overreactions as usual in week two. But there are a few, and I, I think this is one of them. Uh, I actually got so moving on to the Thursday night football, the Chargers Chiefs. Yeah, coming into last week, I said to myself, okay, my ideal, what I really want to happen for my Chiefs survivor pick, Chiefs money line parlay, my card, our Cardinals win total under. I want the Chiefs to win by a million, and they almost did. I think they won by 900,000. Um, they could have won by a million if they wanted to, but. And I was like, if that happens, we'll get the hook. And that's all I wanted. And I bet this um, a couple of days ago, I put it in the app. I said, I just really just wanted the hook here because I, I have these teams paralleled almost exactly the same. And Chargers pick up a division win, press a division win, wasn't a given. And the Chiefs beat up a completely decimated team that we weren't buyers in. And it's Andy Reid with prep against uh, Cliff Kingsbury. So it's not like I was like, oh, my God, now the Chiefs, I have to upgrade them so much. Uh, that result wasn't that unexpected to me. Mahomes ripping apart that Cardinals defense. So, you know, but I, you know, look, there's no Keenan Allen. But remember, last year the Chargers lost in overtime against the Chiefs without Keenan Allen. All they did, they, what they did is they ran it down their throats, 39 rushes for 200 yards. And they went to overtime, even though the Chargers turned it over five times in Chiefs territory, three times on downs, two turnovers, including – Three times inside the Kansas City Five with no points. And it went to overtime with no Keenan Allen. Um, for what it's worth, I think that the Chargers are going to be able to run the ball again here. They'll still be able to move the ball on this Chiefs defense. And for last year, they went to over. I think the, the Chargers are a better roster. Chiefs are still really good, but probably around the same. Um, there's no Butker for the Chiefs. They're going to have the worst kicker in this matchup, which is so weird for me to say. They have like the X Chargers kicker. Probably introduces some variance. How many fourth downs are we going to get in this game? Maybe the Chiefs will probably decide to go for it a little more. Um, JC Jackson has a shot to play. That Chargers defense looked really good last week. So, yeah, I liked anything over three. Now you can get four, four and a half. Take it. Um, and uh, lack of prep here. You know, it's a short week. Favors the Chargers, right? Andy Reid with prep has been really good. And teams that are playing a division game 
in week two, for whatever reason, their second straight division game have been really good against the spread. I also would like the under here. I don't know why this total went up to without Keenan Allen and an improved Chargers defense. Unders on Thursday night football, 54 or more, 7-0 and to the under since 1990. Mahomes and Herbert, 54, 52, 57, 56, four overtime. That's been the point total. So you're right around there. But a lot of times it, it's taken these shootouts late, like things get crazy. So I'll take maybe, maybe take the first. I might take the first step under. I might take the game total under, then look for a live over spot. I think either one of these teams can come back and the game could get a little crazy late. But favorite play in this game is Chargers. I, I I think this will be a really good game. I think it's a field goal game. I think anything over a field goal, uh, I'll take for if it was Chiefs plus three and a half or Chargers plus three and a half. Uh, that's all I wanted. But now they can get a better number, even better. How about you? What do you think? Yeah, I think the Chargers, you know, they've always kind of had that formula of, you know, stopping the Chiefs. And I think that that under is a good call. You know, week two divisional unders, anything 43 or higher going all the way back to 05, uh, 39 and 22, 64%. So I think that's a good call too. Um, you know, as far as the Chargers, yeah, I, I, I like the Chiefs and Chargers. Like coming into the year, I felt like you know those two teams take your pick, and then the Broncos probably a little behind them. And yeah, the the we knew the Cardinals were going to get stomped last week. I mean, they have no cornerbacks, and they're going against Patrick Mahomes. Like I ended up ranking him, you know, my QB one in fantasy. Uh, that was not the consensus. I think it, I think it was uh, still Josh Allen. So. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm kind of with you on this one. I think it's, it's chargers or nothing and it's under nothing. Yeah, uh, really great. Should, should be a really good game. Yeah. Oh yeah. For, for once, you know, Thursday night, we get some, we get some weird ones on Thursday night, but, uh, good, good job out of schedule. The schedule makers have actually, I do give them credit, you know, early, you know, they, they gave us the Russ rematch. They gave us the, the Baker rematch, you know, they, now they give us chiefs charges, on Thursday night football, they gave us that Bucks Cowboys well, rematch from last year. Like a lot of good, uh, a lot of good scheduling. 